to be universe, internet, so on and so forth. I am Firebug and I am here today to and uh, I am here today to like you know and um, we're going we're going to talk about the one and only fairy tale it came out last week uh, give or take uh, just because uh, I messed up on the first one I deleted it and we're gonna do this one so again we're gonna describe all the likes and dislikes of this game so we're gonna go in here and get it started from where I left off and I, I, I will say this about the game I like where they started this game so w with that being said if anybody knows fairy tale they know uh, they're gonna probably know wh where we started uh, before before I get into all this um, there are they started this with uh, after the seven years seven years has passed and uh, a lot of their friends have grown up have kids blah 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 if you read the manga at any point you already know this okay so uh, the, we'll, we'll start with this we're, we're gonna start with the likes and dislikes while we go through this now for anybody who knows me I am not a very loving to RPG turn based games for some reason I've never liked them always hated them except for one game and that was Dragon Quest 8 however this game does show promise in the RPG style I, I can actually be okay with this and uh, we'll get into that a little bit more as you look around this uh, hotel where I'm at right now the graphics paint character builds character mods looks exactly like the anime show okay so perfect nail on the head with its graphics okay guys I will get into one thing that I hate right now and that would be yeah that uh, Japanese you would think if they bring a game to America it would be in English or give us the option of English I mean for real guys come on can you do that I mean if if it is worth the time to put it in dub in an anime series don't you think it would be well spent to put English that's the same way with Hero Academia perfect game I love the animation how they did it no English voices whatsoever and this goes to continue to say with Sword Art Online games however I will continue to play the Sword Art Online games because that's the games I like to play it's an RPG but it's a hack and slash I can move and dodge when I feel like it so getting back to this game you do have what uh, the request board like you would in the anime you come up here click the quest board you got plenty of quests for your ranking in the guild if uh, you're D you get D quests I'm at C right now so we get C ranked quests and these are like side quests is how they put this in the game they're they're more like side quests now you got the main quest line and the storyline which is fine and dandy but this right here to me makes it feel more like fairy tale so I'm gonna pick one and we're gonna actually go on one of these quests okay so if we pick the quest you can go to map uh, how to do that? Ah, yeah. there we go and then you see the little icon that's where the quest is that's where we're gonna go okay, so that's pretty much how this quest stuff works and it feels like fairy tale it feels like I'm in fairy tale so I'm liking this this is pretty cool so now you see where all the uh, fairy tale stuff are and we're going to fight now here's the RPG style 
okay? You got attack, magic, you got, you know, your basic RPG choices, so we're gonna go with magic. I mean, come on. We're fairy tale. Magic's all we use. Uh, so you go down, and uh, this happens to be my favorite summoning for Lucy, Aquarius, just because she don't care about her owner. She does, but when she attacks, she attacks her owner, right? So if you're going to use this attack, be warned. Okay, so here it goes. She used the attack, and we all know that, you know. Okay. Now, they don't do that much animation for these guys, as I wish they would. And I'll show you... In my next fight, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But as you can see, you can still see Lucy getting swept with the tie, like she would in the anime. So, that I mean, that's very close to the anime, and I like that. So... And if you notice, there were squares on the uh, uh, on the fight scene. Uh, let me see if I can find another one real quick. Okay, here we go. Okay, now um, let's see. Like Scorpio, let's try. Let me let me show you Scorpio. Now you saw Aquarius. She had she had her full body out there. Okay, Scorpio. That's all he gets. He gets that picture saying that he's up there doing the attack. Okay, you could have done a little more artwork with that. I I would believe if you wanted to get more into the manga look. However, all you get is that picture. Okay, so now we go to Urza, and uh, dude, she's awesome enough said now if you notice the square pieces the square pieces where that attack lands so in that RPG style sense I'm okay with that I have more opportunity to put stuff where I want it even though it is a turn base <clears throat> but we're gonna live with this one okay so fairy tale it's perfect it, it the animation feels like I'm really in fairy tale. Okay. Now, while we're fighting and finishing up this quest, I'm gonna go into a little bit more of what I don't like about this game, and we've already heard the first one. And it's being it's not English, you know. I would love to have that option for their next game. Please do a next game because I think this is be a worthy game to continue playing. Just please get it English over here in the USA. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Okay. Now I've I've wrote some stuff down. And let's see. Uh. Okay. I think I've already said this too. I don't like the turn-based games. But I'll live with this one. And as you can see, uh, I'm going to try to do some more animations of who you can see with her. And don't worry, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do other attacks. Okay, then you got Urza. She's got plenty of attacks that are awesome. And she changes for each attack. Okay, so she's pretty much Urza. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I think I've already said what I, what I dislike. Uh, my fourth dislike is they should have went all the way with Lucy's keys. However, you have to you start off with a few. You don't you don't get all Lucy's keys. All right. Now I will say this: uh, this R1 button is pretty neat. We're gonna do that right now. And as you can see, the, all the squares light up. So we're going to do this chain attack. And, you, and, and everyone gets to do it. And I think if you do, like, damages, like, way up to the total 400-something breaks. If there's, like, st statues there or something. 
I don't know. But having all that extra damage like that, well, that's fairy tale, and that's what they do. Um. Say like this damage. This is what I'm saying. If you have over damage over 300 while creatures there, you get to destroy that, and a new opportunity thing opens up. Okay, so we'll go open the map. Oh, they're all off the stream. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the stream and get uh, get all those. And I don't know if you've noticed, but how many monsters is in that attack counts as your quest thing. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do the weak one so everybody has a turn. But again, I will say this while it's popping up there. That's all. Just a picture. Okay. And you can normal attack and all. And then we got Natsu. Natsu's the best. Okay. Uh, let's go with this one. I mean, I am on easy, which I am doubting that right now. But I wanted to play through the storyline. I'm not that far ahead. However... Uh, eh. You know, I'm, I'm gonna play through the storyline, get used to it, you know. And you know, Lucy's got her special techniques. They did a very bang up job with the whip. She's got her Star Lord whip or whatever it's called. Ah, now get green. Now he's got the ice magic. Natsu, we've already seen him. We'll do the Dragon War. So you see all the characters that I've got. There, there is more character, playable characters. Uh, there is one other thing I did not like about this game, which I will say right now. I figure I was hoping that this would be like a customize your own character and fight alongside them kind of game which would have been fine for the seven year thing but you know it's not there I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed on that uh, however I will say this even without that I would still play this game but guys I would recommend the creators of fairy tale to you know keep that a Open customization your own character and play with the fairy tale game. They can do it in a way that you know you can continue the story in somewhat way, make some new characters and all that other mess. But that's just me. Okay. All right. So now you get done clearing the quest. Do you want to return to the inn and report in? Yes, I do. Okay. So, we'll report in. All done with the quest? Yes. Get the quest done, you get the jewel, and then you spend it on stuff that I haven't figured out yet. I'll get into that more. Uh, there is a little shop, and I think it's back at the guild. With that being said, you know how I said I like the uh, animation stuff? We're gonna go to Fiore, where Fairy Tale belongs, and I'm gonna show you the artistics of the world. You know, even when we was in that park a minute ago, it was fantastic. The colors were great, but you know, anybody can do that for any game, and it and we can still call it Fairy Tale if we wanted to. I'm not saying we will, but this is Fiore. You know, hey, they did a fantastic job on the church. All right, so it look and it looks pretty darn cool. Cool, well, looks pretty cool. 
and I, f I feel like I'm going around traveling to, you know, Priori. I feel like I get to visit, see the people. They did a very bang up job with the artistic styles of this game. And, you know, I've heard rumors that, you know, you had the, the Arthur or the creator of Fairy Tale putting his few endpoints. And from what I see here, he did a bang up job. He got it there. Hands down, by all means, they did a fantastic job. Now, as you can see, when you first start up with this game, yeah, Fairy Tales in debt. Their guild hall is no longer available in this game. So the guard's there. So we're trying to save some money and get the guild hall back. So. We're going to go to, to our main guild hall, which we are in now. Okay. And here's a cool thing, too. You know, we got Lucy right. You know, here's her house. You can walk in there. And I, li I like the load time down here. Oh, crap. I just don't want nothing else to happen. Okay, because I'm not gonna save it. Um, so here, here we are. We are we're in Lucy's house. You can go around Lucy's house and like, you know, if you're not so, you know, do his funny jokes. At, hey, Lucy, how you doing? You know. Okay. So, and then you can change form to any character. Lucy's house. Why not be Lucy? You know what I mean? Okay. And I would also point out this when you moving from scene to scene like that right there that's pretty quick i like how they did that that is a very quick scene change they did a bang up job on that not too not not slow at all same with here look how fast that was the download time was phenomenal and uh so we go up here and i'm gonna show you so this is the fi <laughs> fairy tale gear hall and let me remind everybody, if you don't know Fairy Tale, this is where you start out, and this is where they come back after the seven year skip. Seven year skip. I don't I don't know what else to tell you there. So th this is I'll, how you start this story and how they got this to set up with Fairy Tale. They did a fantastic job in all that gaming sense i showed you the fight i showed you the artwork i think this is where i'm going to call it a day and uh i hope y'all will go out and get this game i will rate this game a solid two and a half stars mainly being reason it's not english or it doesn't give me the option to change into English, which I am a gamer. I'm not saying I'm not mad at different languages. I'm not saying I hate different languages. I just can't understand it. And I would like to hear it instead of me forcing someone who doesn't understand the language to read the subtitles. If I'm going to read the subtitles, might as well get the manga. However, I do have the Master's Edition. I wish they went to Volume 6. Or through the whole manga in general. Um, so any uh, fairy tale creators that's listening to this video, hey, uh, do me a favor, make some more Master Editions. I'm glad, I will gladly play the 40 bucks for those Master Editions, okay? Just, I got 1 through 5. Make them all. Okay. Uh, so that's the game. I'm going to end it right here. And I'm... Uh, if other people knows me very well. Uh, I do a lot of scriptures and uh, Bible verses at the end of my videos. Beginning. I'm starting at the ending now because people tune out for some odd reason. I'm here to help you. Okay. So 
some of you are probably going like, well, this is fairy tale. This is not really religious video game. However, I don't care. Uh, so this is the mix and meat of the game, okay? But, you know, gamers get depressed sometimes. So I thought about this verse today. I was given this verse. And um, I hope I can read this right. And please, please go back and read it. I'm in Romans 15, verses 32 and 33. Go back and reread it for me. After I do it, do your own study. But this is what I'm going to get from it. Okay? That I may come unto you with joy by the will of God, and may, may with you be refreshed. Yeah, that's why I say go back and reread it. Uh, now, the God of peace with you all. Amen. So, what is that verse saying to me? Mainly saying, peace be with you. You can also say it like, may the force be with you. But hey, I don't want to force nobody, so peace works just fine. Now, God knows that we worry a lot you know we stress out we're human beings come on if you don't stress out from time to time you're an alien so you know peace be still breathe in breathe out think about your situation before you go off the handle nobody wants you to go off the handle it's like people at work that uh and uh you know my first job i ever had you know the people were so stressed out no 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 you do it like this and you do it. i'm just sitting there i'm going like as soon as you decide how to do something we'll do it okay I'm, I'm not gonna argue with nobody i try to avoid those situations at all cost me i'm a funny guy people getting stressed out i try to throw out a couple of jokes but hey you know what now in this day and time i can't even make a good comic joke without somebody saying something and I'm not going to demonstrate. Not at all. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving politics out. But yeah, that's my Bible verse. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let peace come over you. And if you need help with that peace, Jesus is the best one for you. Okay, so that is my Bible verse of the day. And I hope you all enjoyed this little video of the little know-how-to-do's fairy tale the video game again I like this game it seems to me worth playing just creators do me a solid when you're bringing a game from the Jap Japanese to over here in the US please put it in English English voices like Really, guys, I, English Voice and Sword Art, uh, Hero Academia, some other ones. Uh, one guy told me, hey, well, why not play uh, Sedley Devon Sins? I'm going like, yeah, I didn't hear about it, but yeah, now I'm going to go back and play it. But do I really want to go and play a Japanese game with the Japanese voices? It has to be a real good game before I do that. And I also heard that a game that one of my favorite animes, it's a little weird, but it's one of, one of my favorite animes. Is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon? I found out today they had a game that came out uh, this week. And I'm sitting here debating if I want to get it or not. And these Japanese games that I'm thinking about getting because let's face it I'm sick of Call of Duty and they went to pretty much Battle Royale like Fortnite which is a stupid idea for games in my opinion stupid way stupid uh, but you know English 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 okay Next fairy tale game y'all guys make. I beg of you. 
English. Okay. And if you're still on this video, which I'm about to get off right now, add a feature that allows you to allows your players to create a create a character and actually be feeling like, oh, dude, I'm actually in Furore. I'm actually exploring it. It's amazing. So that's all I got. What I, hope doing? I hope y'all play play this game and shout out to Lackey. Okay. Uh, I'm not doing nothing. You came at the end of the video. Sorry to tell you. We wind it. Take a look at it. So I'm going to roll around and thank you for watching this video. Uh... Next time, I might do a big this boss game fight. Is stupid. LOL to LOL. YouTube. Uh huh, okay, whatever. Joking. Joking, got it, yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, all in all, the graphics are good. So, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope we have a good time. And thank you to my cousin out there who's actually watching. He's making me feel pretty good about myself right now. So, thanks, I'm man. Hungry. Good shout out. Go get you a bite to eat. All right. And I'll catch y'all next time.